most don't know my love for the smaller weight classes. Um, most of you guys don't know because you don't care about these smaller weight classes. Remember one guy told me he was working out. He was like, man, you know, he was talking about lightweight and below. They just don't hurt each other enough for me. It's about 10, 12 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I say some of the most, most, most interesting conversation come in, about inside the ring and about stuff outside the ring is at the gym. That's so why I always tell you guys, go to the gym, work out. You get opportunities and learn things and meet people that you necessarily wouldn't have access to. Us, you know, you, the, the better the gym, the better opportunities you have. I have a bunch of great opportunities, meet a bunch of great people. I met people that you know face trials and tribulations. Met my barber there. Met people that did 20, 30 years in the pen. Met people that's police officers. Met people that became federales. Um, met lawyers. Just a bunch of people, man. And it's a bunch of great a wealth of information. Um, inside the gym, man, you have some great conversations, man, and um, I always tell y'all that's therapeutic. But Ben Rodriguez is cold, oh, boy. I already knew it. And Juan Estrada, I know he getting up there, but Juan Estrada is a defensive wizard. Um, uh, I kind of, he kind of remind me of a mini Canelo. He kind of fight behind his shoulder a little bit, do some thick, slick things. He's mad nice. Um, and Ben Rodriguez, he did get dropped in the six. You know, he smiled, and that mean it was a good shot. But he got dropped in the six. But man, after he got dropped, that just woke him up. That ain't do nothing but make me mad. But his footwork was too much for Estrada. Um, Estrada kind of got that Canelo wide base a little bit too. He, you know, his leg after he got dropped that first time, he got hurt that first. Not even a drop. After he got hurt that first time, he never really recovered. Something happened. I don't know if it was neurological. Or it was a, a a physical injury, like an actual bone, his 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 lead leg. So his his uh, left leg got injured. You know he got hit. It was before he he got dropped. That that he it just looked like when Bam hurt him for like the first or second time, he really hurt him. Um, his leg never like he went to sleep or something. He was trying to wake it up, but like a true champion, he fought through it. Um, yeah, he fought through it like a true champion. Um. Oh my bad. Yeah, he fought to fought he fought through it like a true champion. You know, he fought through it like a true champion, but you know, bam footwork was too good, punches was too compact, punches was wide, being a southpaw, jab was good. His footworkers were really did it. And you know what was so funny about 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 that fight he had with uh he had in there with old buddy man is I was saying, man, you know, going before he, you know. You know, got the knockout. I was saying to myself about a few rounds before that, I'm like, dude, need to go to the body. He head hunting too much. He need to go underneath. And you know, whatever whatever made him go underneath, it was Robert Garcia, or it was just you know his you know his his you know his his IQ. Um, you know, he went underneath, and that's what got the stoppage. It was a double. It was a double. I think left hook to the body. You know, nobody talk about the first punch. He punches him with the left, you know, the left. Then he, the footwork, he pivots over to the right and doubles it back up, and that's what did it. He doubled that shot up, but it wasn't a, an, an, an instantaneous. It wasn't a double, double. He doubled, pivot, bam. It was like he didn't even pause. Like they pop, pop. In that first knockdown, he got versus uh, um, Ron Estrada. The first one he scored. That's that was just that's that's translates from the mitt or the the. The little medicine ball they use, that's what they translate to. He I think he did a it, it I forget what the combination was, but he it was just like that was like boom, boom. But like he did a combination like they do with the medicine ball and they had to turn it, then they flip it this way. Like it was the perfect combination that it translated from doing the drill work to the into the into the ring. I think he went uppercut and did. I forget exactly how that first knockdown went, bro. But he did an uppercut. It was perfect. It was something that you could tell they drilled. It was just he turned it over. Perfect. The punch, the uppercut was perfect. The next shot he turned over, everything he threw was textbook. You know? You know, uh, you know, everything was textbook that he that he did. You know, and he got dropped, you know, got caught slipping. He had a uh, he had to respect, you know, uh Estrada's heart. You know, 
He had to respect it. He didn't respect it, but he got up and respected it. Respected it. He got up and respected it, bro. He had to respect it, bro. He had to respect it. Full work code. You know, everything is cold. He couldn't do nothing. The dude was 24 years old, too fast, too quick, too powerful. That's just what it was. Ooh, hold on, I'm not playing the audio. I'm looking at it right now. Too fast, too quick, bro. Yo, that's what it was. It was an uppercut. He didn't with upper. He hit him, dude. The, the shit was so. I wish I could show it. I might do a film breakdown right on Patreon. Come on, he had uppercut, jab, right hand, left hand. Perfect textbook. He went uppercut, jab, put him down with the left. He, he beat his ass. But Estrada, Estrada dropped, you know, hit him with a right hand, dropped his ass in the six. You know, do that mean Bam Rodriguez ain't got no chin? No, he got caught with a good shot. Over being overconfident. He threw him, he, he, he bagged him up with a jab, a double jab, came around, came around with that looping right uh, hook. And that's the same thing like how uh Marquez was beating up Pac- uh, B Pacquiao that last fight. Them looping shots are very hard to get away from. Them looping shots hard, but that liver shot that he landed on on on, on Estrada ain't nobody getting up from that. Because he doubled that up and he didn't even he didn't even see he didn't brace for it. If he braced for it, he probably could have took it. Pause. You know, you know, so, yeah, he, dude, dude, dude is, is special. Dude is special, man. I don't, you know, people talking about he need to fight a new UA and all that type of stuff. Um, they like two weight classes apart, ain't they? 22 to 118? What, what is he at? Excuse my ignorance. I think a new UA is at 122. Or am I thinking 120, 126, and he had 118. Yeah, he just moved up to 118. Yeah, Strada, I mean, uh, oh, man, maybe he had 22. Am I tripping? No, I knew he was at 22. So, uh, yeah, they had 115. Yeah, Rodriguez is at like, two weight classes apart. He's a growing man, though, so he could be at 122, but – a new way maybe at 126 in no time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's a lot to ask, and it's a lot of other great fights to make at 118 pounds. I mean, 116 pounds, too. You got everybody want to see him fight the Ioka guy, uh, Tanaka. Um, so, whoever this Fernando Martinez guy, I ain't seen him. Uh, he already beat Sora Rivestein. I mean, shit, he beat, uh, he beat Chocolito, too. Um, yeah, I mean, shit, you know, then going up to one. WBC you got Nakatani, another New York to Com- Tukumun. It's a bunch of money to be made. It seemed like at 118 going over to Asia. So, but last night, uh, it ain't no rush. He's 24 years old. But last night, the way he turned them punches over, that footwork, you know, and that IQ and that discipline, he's gonna be hard to beat. But you know, he got put down though. He got put down. So. He got caught slipping, so hey, it can't be done. The monster got put down too, and people are like, oh, he got exposed. He got it, man, bro. People, it happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's boxing. You gonna get dropped, but do you? Can you get up? Can you get up and you can perform? He got up and it made it worse. Some guys get knocked down. Some guys not need to get knocked down to get, uh, to get woke up because that was the way uh, Tito Trinidad was. You know, it was it was routine for Trinidad to get knocked down, and you knock him down. It really was. It really was a sign of dishonor. I mean, it really was a bad sign because he get up, be, get up off that canvas, and put that. He put his foot in your ass. You know what I'm saying? So, that, you know, like I said before, so you know, sometimes it just wake people up and make me mad. What you gonna do with that? Besides, make me mad. You know, and that's real spill. That's real spill. That's real spill, bro. So, like I continue to say, man, do 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 the dog, the precision. Turning over the punches, the footwork is what's amazing. And the footwork would throw Estrada off because Estrada really liked to be slick, but he couldn't. That footwork and that hand speed, everything is everything is on point. 
you know, to beat the beat Van Rodriguez are, uh, you going to push him back. <laughs> you going to push him back. You going to push him back. That's going to be a hard test. You going to have to work the body, slow him down. He young, he fresh, he ain't got no scar tissue, he ain't got no wear and tear. You know what I'm saying? And I think Estrada, you know, figure something out. You got to use that jab to back him up, and you got to punch with him. But you just can't be like, well, I'm going to punch with him. You know, well, I'm just going to punch with him. Nah, you got to punch with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to keep doing it. You can't do it for a point in time. And when you punch with him, don't be looking for that one shot. I think that's where Estrada messed up at. Look for two or three. Look for two or three shots. That'd be my thing. Look for two or three shots. That would be my advice. Look for two or three shots. So, but yeah, you know, body punching, jab, um, southpaw, right hook, left hand, body work. As soon as I said to myself, I said, boy, if he go to the body, this can be over with. <laughs> what do he do? He went to the body and it was over with. So, you know, Stroud ain't got nothing to hang his head on. You know, 34 years old. You know, it's a young man's game. It's a young man's game. Ain't too much you can do about it, man. So, hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video financially on support the channel. Cash up dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, yeah, hit the link tree. Find me on Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Patreon, the whole nine. So I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.